Thank you. Oh, more people follow me. Thank you. Bring my glasses. Hello, Zenkoi. I think I pronounced that right. I'm just working on um, the Secrets comic for now before I work on more of um, I Hat and Black Circus. I want to try to get two pages of each of those um, done tonight, or not tonight, um, this week, and at least one of Secret's um, pages. Hey Jet. Yeah, I had a good good weekend. Yeah, I'm just trying to chip away at it. It's not that it's not gonna be that long, but uh, but I hadn't really had a chance to work on it, so I'm trying to get something done for it.
Hold the applause. I'm holding. <laughs> no, this is not a commission. Hey Alex, hello Pablo. Hope everyone's doing all right. <laughs> Wolf Bill is always incredible to see. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the the trailer. That's it's good that they're adding in games that were Japan only. Especially if they like been out of print in forever.
No, this is um, this is a page for um, secrets. I wanted to start chipping away at that. Finally getting getting around to her to her stuff. Meant to work on this sooner, but stuff kinda got in the way. This page should be done sometime tonight. And then after that, I'll work on the next page of iHat. And after that, I'll work on Black Circus. And then for the rest of this week, I just want to work on comic pages. So I'll try to crank out as many of um, iHat Volume 2 and Black Circus as I can. And then next week I'll probably chip away at uh, at the Patreon stuff. And I want to work on more side art stuff, so I'll probably start working on more fan art. Just gotta decide what theme I want to do. time I'll work on the line art for the next um, Chica pick. Um, normal sequence of events. It'll, it'll just go towards how she or what makes her um, 
take the necklace in the first or the collar in the first place. No, but I do want her to either be having ice cream or going elsewhere or eating something from elsewhere while with her friends. Right now I'm just kind of winging it because none of these characters have designs made. I was going like, okay, what, what's gonna click with me? And then design them as I go. This has happened more, many times. <laughs> yeah, it's her favorite ho um, holiday, mostly because people won't ask um, about her looks and just assume it's a costume or something. But even then, she mostly just likes Halloween for the drinking. Because she can get blackout drunk for a good reason. take a look. No, she's always been doing this. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, the program that I use for my avatar is not the same as the one you showed me, so I'll have to look at um, that one when I get a chance, because that one looked pretty interesting.
No worries. But I did like what you showed me, so I want to check that out when I get the chance. In fact, let me grab that video real quick. Just so I don't forget. Now my problem is I'm going to design these characters and then I'm going to want to use them for more things in the future. And I'm just going to have infinite ammo until the end of time. Or at the very least, um, draw more fan art, or uh, not fan art, just draw more artwork of them. As I should, so <laughs> I'm just always going to have characters drunk and angry and Becky's. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure that's Becky a lot of the time when she's brought to certain parties or or at the very least is spending time with Pax. And Pax um, allows her to get, you know, super drunk because that way she can kind of just let her hair down. But she can be a bit of a mean drunk. Like, I can see her being a bitch, um, starting shit, and then continue drinking pass the fuck out and then as he's carrying her to bed or whatever she's like sorry and he's like it's okay it's okay um, Becky <laughs> or Rebecca and then she'll be like are you mad and he's like no I'm not mad <laughs> I know when you have 9,999 care I know right I mean, when she falls into a barrel of uh, excise excited, honestly, her fat ass would probably not even allow her to fit. Or she did just get stuck. And she'll probably just guzzle the whole damn thing, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, she, she's like the type of drunk where she'll be a bitch and then apologize afterwards and they'll be cute. To her dismay. That or she gets drunk and wants to and wants to bang um, packs. So whichever you know, whatever works, whatever comes first. No pun intended there. <laughs>
I petition seeing a drunk Betty avatar. <laughs> I'll try to make something tonight if I have time. Try to make a drunk Becky. Just make her look like she's a little pissy, but like out of it at the same time. She's like, what are you fuckers doing here? Like, I can see Becky passing the fuck out, Pax um, puts her to bed, and then he goes to bed too, because it's been a long night or whatever. And then, like, during the night, she keeps fucking moving around, and Pax keeps waking up because she's moving around so much, and then, it, and then eventually, she just, like, grapples him, and he just has a face full of ass for the rest of the night. <laughs> Not that he would dislike that, but at the same time, he's just like, really, woman? those times when I'm pissed and I want to rant. I know, right? I need to make a few avatars for for, for my moments. Yeah, I can see her having cute hiccups. Becky is the type where if you tell her that she's cute, she's just going to be in denial about it. Because she doesn't see herself in that way. <laughs> oh yeah, she would pound, she would pound them hard.
like um, like how does Pax get away from her just being a mean drunk? Oh, her resisting compliments. She she eventually grow, grows into it um, once she real once she l realizes how much he actually does care about her and all that. She just has a hard time accepting it because growing up she's gotten just a lot of teasing and bully bullying, and then when she got older, it was just more about her figure. And because she was like multiple creatures, it would just be like, you know, more about her features sexually rather than just her herself. So when Pax is being more sincere about it, she kind of is in denial about it. Since it's more of a legit compliment rather than just being like oh damn you got a fat ass but yeah she's a lot closer with Pax than, than she intended to be Can't tell who any of these characters are. Good, because I don't know who they are. <laughs> I'm literally making them up on the spot. This has not been the first time this has happened. Like, uh, Emerald was a character made on the spot. Along with Andy. And then that just kind of ended up being two you know, more characters. So I was like, alright, let's do something with these two. Wait, I should probably save. Because God knows how long I've been working on this. Well, she's glad there's more hybrids, but the problem is, is that she's like the most mixed. And you're most likely never going to see anyone else with that many crossbreed breeding into one person. And that's what pisses her off a lot of the time because she'll be teased about you know looking weird and stuff but then you'll have like other people slash kids who have at least you know one to three to maybe four combinations of creatures and yet she's still the weird one so she just grew to, to dislike people and she just kind of distanced herself as much as she can And then that on top of, you know, just people trying to take advantage of her and stuff. She's just kind of done. But then she has Pax, who's actually treating her normally and like, like, and actually likes her for who she is and all that. So she's just kind of 
iffy about being liked in that way. myself for the next few pages, but that's okay. Oh, she'd figure it out if, if it had no alcohol in it. It wouldn't take her long to notice. She could probably just tell immediately on taste. She'd be like, bitch, where's the good shit? trying to give me piss water. Yeah, it's probably a pain in the ass to to put on and off. But if it makes her look cute, then she'll wear it. She'll be like, yeah, this, this collar is a, is a bitch, but eh, it makes me look nice.
I was watching the recent English episode of um, the Duke of Death, Death and his um, maid, and it should, and it immediately shows off one character. Well, not immediately, but one of the characters is like, "Oh, you put on a bit of weight," and she's like, "What?" And it, it immediately goes to her thighs, and it just has like a bunch of thighs squished, and then her thighs jiggle a little. I was just like, "Okay, then." So this is the episode we're on. Cool. <laughs> I did not complain, I was just surprised. Mm, that should be fine. I'm gonna erase some of it. I was just like, oh, how did we get here? <laughs> I could always change the collar to be a button-on if I think it's too too much for this character. But whatever background I give her in the future, then we'll roll with that. Depending on if I want to show Caitlyn in this panel or the next one, I think the next or the next page. I think the next page would be better because that way these three will kind of establish their personalities, and then I'll cut to Caitlyn just kind of putting away whatever food she ordered.
thinking about how you mentioned that. Okay. Yeah, like, um, at the time when I said that, I was just thinking of, like, how how hard I would have gotten with di the different endings, but, um, I'm probably gonna do, like, a blend of the three ideas into this story, and still keep it, like, you know, the wholesome version that's supposed to be, but, um, but, uh, I definitely want to show that you know she gets her gains but it's not like a detriment to her although it is supposed to be technically a punishment but the idea is that uh is that uh both the well i'm still debating on if she's even gonna end up gaining a significant under towards, towards the end or significant other at the end or if there's just like the possibility that someone might be into it but the idea is that for at least for this version is that her friends um um reassure her that you know they don't think any less of her um for for the sudden um, weight gain when the time comes because that wasn't supposed to be the point or that wasn't like their intention Because it was more like they make an off comment, and then she kind of takes it um, to heart. Yeah, the 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 current idea is that, I, that I'm going with is um, she misunderstands and thinks that her friends are making fun of her weight, or like saying that um, that a guy wouldn't go for her at at a particular size when that wasn't their intention. It was more like they were mocking the guy in saying that, oh yeah, I'm sure he's the type though that only goes for skinny bitches or some shit like that. It just it'll it'll have to be in like the wording or however I have them phrase it. And then I could just, you know, go the route that, that they might make the comment that she that 
Caitlyn's a little on the chubby side. But like they're but the main point is that they didn't intend to offend her. And they'll probably make cheap shots at themselves towards the end too. Going like going like making fun of you. It was like it was like bitch, no, look look at me. <laughs> like you think you think a guy's gonna go for any of this? And then I don't know, maybe they'll probably like cheer each other up. And then, I don't know, I could probably toss in a joke or something like that. You know, one of them could say, like, well, on the bright side, Caitlyn, your tits are huge. <laughs> and then just chuckle or something. Or even, like, comment that there, that a guy might be with her because of her sudden gain. Be like, like one of them could whisper, like, yo, Caitlyn, that, guy, that guy's been checking you out for a while now. And be like, what, really? So, whatever works for the scenario. Yeah, because I need to give her a, a good reason to want to take the collar um, desperately. And I didn't want her to be rich, because I figured that was that felt more of a cop-out of, of, of making her personality revolve around that, because I didn't want her to have a rich girl, valley girl type of personality. That's good. I'll try to make it work. <laughs> I know I can. It's just when I get there, I get there. And then I'll make it make sense. But yeah, the idea is just that, you know, she's hanging around her friends and, you know, friends talk shit <laughs> to each other. But I guess it, it like the, the idea is that in this case, it gets a little too personal than usual. And that's when she misunderstands and thinks that her friends just don't think she's gonna get any or find a, find anyone who will be into her because of her weight or something like that. And then that's what makes her think that she needs to steal the collar. Because then when she gets the collar and she's suddenly like skinny and hot and all that, then that's where her friends are like, whoa, what the hell did you do? And then, you know, debating on if she'll, like, mystery her friends for a while because she's skinny and attractive to certain guys or something like that. Like, maybe the collar even has, like, the added effect of making her more attractive or something. But, um... But she starts, like, just, you know, kind of being a little shit. But then once the witch comes for her collar back, and that's when shit happens. Give her a small tight collar. And she's all like, yeah, this thing's a pain in the ass. Sounds dangerous, yeah. Because basically the whole thing, the whole point of the collar that Caitlyn gets is that she can indulge as much as she wants, but if the collar is not properly taken off, then she'll get back whatever calories or whatnot that the collar absorbed from her. Or um, taken in from her binge eating and all that, and that's when she gets punished. But once her friends see what sees what happens and all that, they they reassure her that you know they're still friends and stuff like that, and that she didn't have to go through such um, measures. And then, I don't know, maybe they try to help her get back to nor either help her get back to normal, or she comes across a guy who's super into it. One of the one or the other. Because I don't want to make it just like the same song and dance where it's like oh she's she's gonna be big forever type of thing because it kind of just seems unrealistic at times to keep doing that 
so I wanted to be realistic for the characters being involved. Uh, should I make her taller? Just a little bit. Just so more of her is on the top of the table. That should be enough. Because I want this character to be short. She has big chubby arms. Yeah, her being a cat, uh, another cat character who gets fat wasn't exactly um, intended. It just happened to be a cat character. That's it. That's all. And it was mostly just because um, her original artwork had her um, had her with the with the collar and showing her um, skinny and fat. So. The idea of her um, being skinny and fat was mas was mo mostly based off of her concept art, and I didn't want to like toss out that idea for her, since it was already there. And I do have other characters who are not felines um, who have to do with waking stuff. I mean, obviously, because Creamfield alone is already an example of that. But yeah, that was just more of staying with the concept art rather than um, tossing out the idea. But yeah, I'll try to avoid doing that again in the future. Or at least not have them so close together. Yeah, I think it'd probably be better if she 
doesn't find a guy immediately but is just more like reassured by her friends that she's fine whether she puts on weight or not and that could lead into her finding somebody in the future which I'll either show that as a cameo or at, at least show her like trying to date or something whenever she shows up in a cameo or you know I can always just do another story about her la later down the line but yeah like I don't think I'll have her find anyone immediately but I definitely want to show that her friends accept her and didn't mean to make her think she had to change. And I could like go through Caitlyn's mind or thoughts on like her friends' appearances and stuff to to help justify why she thinks she needs the the caller. Could be a situation where it's like either I give them all boyfriends. And that makes Caitlyn think that um, that she needs to change or whatever, or she's aware that they've dated guy like several guys or whatever, and she she's been single for the most part or hasn't dated anybody. Whatever reinforces the thought, because I can even say like, yeah, they've dated guys, but none of their relationships worked out for one reason or another. And they'll like explain it or something like that, like at least let her know, it's like, hey, hey, just because we're getting dates doesn't mean things are working out. So just a big misunderstanding with her friends. And then they just reinforce that she's fine with the added poundage. Let's not talk about Phil. <laughs> Philip is a special case because I just kind of tossed him in. For that story or for that part of neutral ending since it was an alternate timeline because philip dates a, a bigger woman in the normal in the true ending timeline and that woman thought that she had to lose weight but philip is totally into her being a big woman Maybe I'll make her like half giant or something. And that's why I felt it's just like, damn. But again, like, not all stories would be about, you know, waking and stuff like that. So I try to, I'm gonna try to spread them out. Because technically, this comic wasn't the intended, um, uh, well, next Secrets Comic, because, you know, there's going to be archives and all that, so... I was originally going to use a different character, but I was like, eh, this is fine. In the moment, and people voted. So, the other, so Gula will have to wait your turn. Same for Lizzie. Like I know, girls, you you all you all came first, but this happens. See, now that I'm drawing this character, I'm all thinking of a bunch of scenarios that this character could could do in the future. She could just be a little shit. But she's like short and short and small. She she's all short stack. She'll probably be fun in the future. Now I just gotta come up with names for these three.
It's like, fuck, what's your name? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Do -do. You know what? Let's just go into these. And none of these moved. Playlists. Do, do, do. Uh, let's try this. And let's try something different. Or hold on. I'll let it go, but if there's words, I'll have to change it, because it'll be hard to hear me. Okay, so I think she looks fine the way she is. Just kind of detail her gloves a bit. Alright, so here's this character, whatever the hell I'm going to name her. Would be fun seeing true Philip. Yeah, oh, like I plan to use him, and then you know if I use him early for some other character that I didn't plan for, I mean it's not like I can't make a new one to make up for that. So there'll always be a endless well, uh, an endless well of characters to to swap in and out and change their purposes for whatever. Alright, so... your turn. Right now my thoughts are a leg up. Here's all the single ladies. Or I can make them all negative, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever this dialogue I decide that for them to have. <laughs> Link has come to town. The girls are doing on their for their free time, just going to the beach and checking out guys or girls. I don't know, one of them might be bi or gay or whatever.
the sad version always makes you juggle. There is another music channel I can try. I'll just have to read the rules to see if there's anything I have to do with their music. Necessary glasses that I just decided to give her. I kind of want this character to kind of look like she has her shit together, but at the same time, she's all a little pissy that, that she's single. There's like another uh, bird character who has a similar situation, where she works at an office job, and she, but she's single, so she goes to a speed dating bar, or a speed dating um, gathering that her friend recommends her. I know, right? It's just like, oh, we're done trying to auction these these collectibles or whatever, and here's like the ending music, and it's just on for like the next hour. <laughs>
Yeah, I guess that's much better. <laughs> Comes back with a letter. Oh yeah, I should definitely use my news base characters more for that kind of situation. That'd be funny. This one's definitely much taller. Kind of want our eyelashes to be a little bit lower. Or eyelids. Change, change things up and just give her claws for hands.
I have to go through the names of characters that I have to try not to repeat names when I name these two. Yeah, and like, um, it's possible that they'll try to help set her up with a guy who's like, who's, uh, who's, who could be into her. So like, you know, be her wing, her wing girls. Let's <laughs> We already got a robot, Marcy. Which her story is really messed up. Or at least depressing. But yes, I could call her Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I have these girls at the beach. Maybe either Still debating if they're dressed casually, if they're actually dressed and use the and go to the actual beach. Or if they're only here for sightseeing. Or both, because they can always dress for the part and then not actually go. something to bitch about. She's say, like, oh my god, these stupid feathers. They always grow wrong.
could even say this one thinks she's too bony or something. I don't know. They'll all, they'll all have something to bitch about. For one reason or another. I still wonder how Frozen would have gone if they went with their original script for um, Elsa. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be a villain. Originally. And this is further hinted at in um, Kingdom Hearts 3, where you go to the Frozen level. And for some reason, Lark's scene, when you, when you run into her, she sends you into a dungeon that's in the form of, um, of Elsa's castle. And, like, if you look at the structure of the castle, it doesn't make sense on why that would be there. Because I think there was, like, three layers of it or something like that. And it's, like, clearly designed as Elsa's castle. But Lark Scene sends you there for some reason. And, um... Um, there's, like, if you... If you layer the dungeons onto Elsa's castle, it's supposed to, like, fit um, perfectly as well as the boss that you end up fighting doesn't make any sense because it just suddenly shows up from um, the prince the prince that um, that was the villain of the movie and he has like no actual interaction in, in the game at all and it's hinted that it was supposed to be Elsa's heartless and not um, his because I think the game was being made at the time where Frozen was at a different state when it was being um, produced or in development and all that, and so I think originally um, Elsa was supposed to be a villain, but then that got changed, and the um, Kingdom Hearts game had to change up a few things to make that make sense. Because that's why that world in particular is one of the most annoying, because Sora is just suddenly thrown into the ice dungeon like three times. Yeah, it would have been an interesting idea to see Elsa be the villain. I can't remember if they went through with that idea or not in um, Once Upon a Time. But I think Once Upon a Time's peak was Neverland. Because that was a good arc, and then from what I heard, it kind of falls apart after that season. 
where it falls more apart, I should say. It's, it's had its problems. But yeah, for Kingdom Hearts, I think you were supposed to originally go to Elsa's castle and fight Heartless and stuff like that there. But then all that changed and you got and Sora gets sent elsewhere in the in the game. Okay, for pre moment, I was like, I recognize this this beat. Like, I know where this is from.
Probably get more stylized as I go along. But most of my characters are rough in the beginning. Yeah, this is this song is from uh, Donkey Kong Country. It's a remix. It's the uh, water level theme. Yeah, that theme is freaking classic. So good. Like very rarely does video game music like not hit. Like there has to be like very special cases for music to not be good. And then obviously you'll have like songs that are goofy and stuff like that, but I'm talking about like ones that are just like bad for the sake of either not good on the console that they're on or had to be like made and tossed in very quickly. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes, there are times where you'll have music in games where it just does not fit the game itself. For whatever reason. Maybe it just doesn't like match up with the theme of the game or something.
Yeah, it's kind of like, I guess the only example I can really think of, because honestly I haven't really heard too many actual bad music um, put in games. But um, like one like one example of songs that don't match are like in Sonic 2 when you play the versus mode and the music for the verses don't match the levels that they're being used in. And that's mainly because the versus mode music were songs originally intended for levels that got scrapped from the game. But they were just kind of tossed into that mode. And then if we're going for like songs that are just straight up bad, then um, one example would be Sonic Dark Chronicles, where all of their music was MIDI, I think it was. And um, this was because I think the, the music that they intended to use got copyrighted or something like that. And so they had to like scramble and throw in MIDI music or whatever bit music that they decided to put in. And it was just not good. Like the songs were just horrible for that game. I think the only good song was the final boss song, but it's been a while since I've listened to that. But yeah, like, at least at Sonic games, the only time it ever has bad music is if something came up and kind of got in the way of the, of the game's development. Same thing for some of its games, like um, 06. 06, you can tell something happened because if you look at the footage between the trailer, the, like the announcement trailer and demo of Sonic 06, and the um, final version, you'll see there's a clear difference in quality. Oh. Got a raid by Michi. <laughs> Thank you, Michi. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> That's funny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> wow, 22. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I'm just working on comic stuff. <laughs> But welcome, everybody. Hope you can endure my stream. And I clicked on the wrong button. Let's go back to here. Put on some more music. Do, do, do. Uh, ooh, let's try this. Get some Mega Man in here. <laughs> you bring out the raid brownies. <laughs> it's like, oh, everyone's getting fucked up. <laughs> but yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I draw adult themed comics, but there's nothing risque going on on this page. If there were, I would be on the card. Which I'll have to get back into going on that during the weekend. So I'll try to do that this weekend.
Yes, yes, this is the first page of a, of a short comic that I'm working on. I always have a rough time with first pages, but I'm trying. <laughs> and yes, the snake has hair. No trunk back. <laughs> Not in this comic, no. She has nothing to do with this story. Unless I like can't randomly have her show up as a shopkeeper, but I don't even think she'd be caught around here. Unless her boyfriend got her to go. <laughs> That's my secret, I'm always drunk. Yeah, she, yeah, Becky is always drunk. <laughs> She's always drinking on the job. Snakes and piercings. I'd have to spend time to make that kind of thing. It's not going to be like an instant thing to make a different to make a drunk Becky hot. Yeah, exactly. If Becky's drinking coffee, she's added alcohol to it. Whatever is the hardest shit that she owns. Yeah, I'll, once I get a chance to make it, I'll uh, add it to the channel reward thing. I'll change the Nun Becky thing to just outfit change, so that way people can select different versions. Either that or make each of them a separate option, so that way it's easier to just pick the one you want. Yeah, this is a nice track. This is a um, Mega Man themed. Yeah, 
I can see this character drinking coffee. This is a really good, really good song. Yeah, another Farrakeen snake. But she is a cobra and she has hair. She likes piercings. Definitely a little bit more better off than Joanne is, at least in the beginning. She's a little bit pampered. Yeah, I could see her doing that. Or like other characters doing that, just being like, oh yeah, make her looks nicer and all that. And she likely just did that. It's like a, a snake with hair, and she's like, "And look at every, look around us. There's other creatures with hair and all that. Dragons and gators and all that. So her getting hair implants isn't exactly that out of the box." Give her some belts just for the hell of it. Nah, let's just give her jewelry.
Nope. Just gotta darken the lines around them a bit. Okay, so here are these three. You know, darken the lines around them in a moment. I will have to come up with the names as when I'm ready. I kind of want to redo her feathers. I think I will. Make them look a little nicer. I still want them to be asymmetrical, but I want to style them a bit. I think I might make them bigger. Almost like a fan, like a big fan on it.
detail than all of it. And whatever I do down here, I'm gonna tweak up there. Asymmetrical for her. Keep it growing, now's a good time to save your shit.
I'm also thinking of um, having a character possibly insult um, Caitlyn, and that makes her get into um, wanting to get the collar as well. And like maybe her friends kind of like try to assure her that she's fine, but Caitlyn kind of lets the comment get to her. So there's there's various ways I can go about this. So I'll try to settle on which I think is the best for the story. It's one of those things where I have to get to that point to, to feel it out more. That way it's a little bit better than her friends insulting her. Oh, I was just saying that maybe I'll change it up so that another character insults Caitlyn and that's what drives her to get the collar, rather than her own friends insulting her. And like have her and like her friends are the ones that are like trying to reassure her that, you know, she looks fine. But she takes the nasty comment to heart and that's what her, um, um, makes her wanna get the collar more. And then when things do go wrong at the end, when the collar is removed, she has her friends there to to cheer her up. And then possibly have like a guy kind of look in, Caitlin, in Caitlyn's um, direction, and that's when her friends are like, Hey, Caitlyn, looks like someone's in you. And kind of like encourage her to to go out with the with the with her admirer. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Just contemplating multiple ways to go about this, and just pick the best one when I get there.
Yeah. Because they're they're all together and they're all hitting bat batting um, batting zero at the moment. So she needs to remember that her friends are there for her. It's like you're perfectly fine the way you are. And then I don't know, maybe one of them will make a joke at the end, going like, "Hey, do you think do I do you think I should put on some weight?" <laughs> when they see Caitlyn nabbing a guy, and then that's that's like just where it ends. There's no like yes or no to that. Just a matter of who would say that. Probably the bird. She'd probably say it. Because I was thinking of like if the other character does insult them, they would like nitpick each of them individually. And for Caitlyn, she'd be the fat one. Oh, I'll grab it for you. Yeah, these remixes are really good. Copy. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, there's a Sonic song by Snap, or not Snap Cube, um, uh, it's been a while since I read, since I looked at the artist. Let's see, I'm sure I can find it. Uh, it's like, it's like I, I don't think it was Snap Cube. Snapple Man, that's why. I knew Snap was in the name, that, but I couldn't remember the rest. Snapple Man, yeah, that theme is freaking crazy. You know what? Let's listen to that. Let me just wait for this to load. Yeah, let's listen to that. Because this song is really good. God, this song is so fucking awesome. Especially when it's used in um, Super Mario Bros. Z uh, fan animation. If you've ever watched that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I can see the snake talking back to the guy who insults him. Just talking like he just started just talking shit on him.
would she? What else would she have? Nah, I guess you're fine. He's getting drinks. Since Caitlyn will be the foodie anyway. I can call it for now, take a break, and then start doing the flat coloring and all that for this. And then all that's really going to happen after that is just some shading, background stuff, and dialogue should be ready um, sometime tonight or in the morning. Yeah, thank you. But um, after this, I plan on working on, I had to then Black Circus, and then more I had to Black Circus, because I want to try to work on more comic stuff this week. And then next week I'll work on Patreon stuff, and like anything extra and all that. Yeah, this is in grayscale, um, with the exception of maybe, like, I'm debating on if I'll have some color pages for this, or if I'm just going to leave it all black and white, because the Blake comic was more of a special case. It wasn't like the rule. The, the rule. But um, but yeah, uh, for the most part, this will be in black and white. Might adjust her nose a bit. Might do that in both of them. But um, yeah, I will keep working on this later tonight, and I will have it up when it's ready. And and again, this is a a twenty dollar tier and higher comic, so this will not be public. Um, when it when the only the only way it is public is when I put it up for sale when it's done, and when it has like whatever extra artwork I decide to toss in. But um, but yeah, this will not be like published um normally the way um Secrets was or um uh other comics. Um, I think Archives will be public since that's more of a comic series that's like more information heavy for characters it's the, the the idea of archives is to get you to know more side characters whereas this type of comic is just leaning into the kinks more yeah because um because uh streaming it i don't really mind i'm just it's kind of like whatever especially when i only get like this far or something like that or whatever else i'm working on so if I stream it, then I stream it. If I don't, then I don't. But yeah, the idea is that the, this this type of series of comics will be for the higher tiers only, and when they're sold, when they're done. But yeah, thank you everybody for coming. Um, I will stream again tomorrow, um, same time at um, nine p.m. And if I can, I do want to try to stream on the on the weekend, at least on Saturday. So we'll see what happens. What if I'm doing anything on that day? But uh, yeah. Thank you again for coming, and I will see you guys next time. Take care and have a good night.